Welcome to the Bear Essentials. In this video, we're gonna be focusing on tarp setups. Slide it down and loosen this up. As well as a couple different configurations. Oh, much better. I'm gonna demonstrate two friction hitches and one connecting knot, and then break it down in a way that's really easy to understand. If you have any questions as we go through this, just leave them in the comments below. All right, let's get to it. This is the best way I find to set up a tarp. I pretty much have a ridge line already preset and I do some taut line hitches at either end and then attached to the ridge line, I just have prussic knots and I'll show you what those are. Basically, both of those types of knots are friction hitches and friction hitches are so good because when you pull against them, the friction makes them stop and tighten. So they're like a knot, but when you slide them, they could slide around the line so you could adjust. We have just a jumbo of lines here, but I sort of color code them. What I want to do first is find my ridge line, which is this big orange one. I'm going to take the end of this and tie a taut line hitch to this tree. For the taut line, you just go around. Now just wrap around that main line once on that inner loop and now go through again. So that's twice and then one just below that knot. Cinch that tight by pulling the tag ends just towards the knot. See how the knot initially locks in place, but then you could put your hand there and slide it and it'll move. And then if you put tension again, it locks in place. So I'm just gonna follow this ridge line to the other end of the tarp. I could tighten that. Now I have these prussic knots, I'll just slide. slide and tighten that up see this prussic in the middle it'll just slide there and it'll hold it'll slide there and it'll hold so to tie the prussic knot you first need to connect two ends of a rope so you do right over left and a crossover and then left over right this is called a reef knot or a square knot and it's used to connect two ropes of the exact same diameter so once you have a small loop of paracord formed we're going to tie the prussic. So you just loop that around your main line and that's going to create a girth hitch or a lark's foot it's called. Now wrap it through the middle a second time and go around one more time and wrap it through. Just make sure that all the wraps are in line for this to work properly. And now you have a prussic knot and it is awesome because you can pull on it like this and it doesn't move but then you could slide it and it will move so you could really adjust it along your ridge line and if you connect your tarp straps to it you could move your tarp all the way along your ridge line and tighten or adjust it however you want okay so now the final step this is attaching your prussic knot to your tarp strap there's two main ways to do this a really easy one is just grabbing a stick and sliding it through that loop and it's like a toggle so that'll hold it in place pretty good but the other way to do it, if you want a more permanent setup, you slide the line through and then remember that reef knot we talked about, right over left, left over right. Well, you tie one of those on and now your tarp is semi-permanently attached and you could slide it along the line just like so. So if I really wanted to adjust this tarp, I could just slide it all the way. I could have it kind of any configuration that I want. You could slide it all the way just like this. Really easy. So I'll just take the middle and this side. I'm going to stretch till one's tight. Perfect. Stretch the other one. Now I'm just going to set up with my stakes here and on this line here that I'm attaching, I'm going to use again the taut line because then I can always adjust.
Go to the other side over here. Lucky enough, I can tie to this tree. And then I adjust my last one. So now this tarp is kind of set up for rain. It's really low, but if I want a space to kind of just chill, grab some sticks and lift it up. The nice thing about the taut line hitch is first I just slide it down and loosen this up. Now I can get a stick. Just peg it in there where I want and tighten this. Oh, much better. And let's say the rain's coming. I could just take that off, slide the taut line up, and it tightens it down again. And as a reminder, here's where I generally put prusik knots, and then this is where I put the taut line hitches. Thanks everyone, hope you enjoyed. Take care.